Alright guys and welcome back. Right, in today's episode we're going to talk about the Aston Martin because we haven't mentioned it for a bit. So to start off with, I've just got these four new wheels for it. These have been off the road since 2005 in dry storage and other than a bit dirty are in really good condition. So we're going to start by giving these a really good clean. So start off by washing the wheels with some snow foam and a detailing brush. Go in all the nooks and crannies and make sure they're spotless. And I hose them all off, dry them, and apply a nice coat of Meguiar's tyre gel on the tyres just to make them look good again. Now they're all done, as you can see they're looking awesome. Now I didn't need any wheels, but mine were a little bit curved in places, a little bit of corrosion here and there, they needed a refurb. And these came up for an absolute bargain price, in my opinion, with really good tyres. So let me know in the comments how much you think I paid for these wheels. Right, let's get these fitted. Now I'm a big believer that wheels make your car. And as you can see, these aren't the best. So out of the old, in wood and new. I'm also a big believer in brakes. Now if your brakes look crap, wheels look crap. So if your brakes are a little bit rusty, give them a refurb. Just a simple clean up makes a world of difference. So as you can see, these wheels are pretty corroded here. They're not the best. So out of the old, in wood and new. So I'm going to start by taking the wheels off. Put the car on axle stands, make it nice and safe. So I'm going to wire wheel all the brake discs. The calipers on this are in good condition because the Brembo's are painted, they're nice. Don't need to touch that. So I need to just clean the disc up. I'm going to clean all the areas which aren't obviously affected by the brake pad. Give them a good sand down, degrease. And then I can prime them and then paint them. And it's going to make the car look that bit better. Right, so that's all done. Don't worry about getting paint on this a little bit. First time you use the car, that'll rub off. Obviously don't cover it in paint, but don't worry about a bit of overspray. I've also just put a new exhaust clamp on the exhaust because that was corroded. So nice job, and I've just given this a quick clean. So that's gonna look a million times better when I put the wheel back on. One down, four to go. Right, that's all done and I think they look fantastic. It really makes the car look so much better. I'm dead sure for that. So what's left to do? I still need to blend the paint in. Obviously I've re-sprayed this myself. The silver's not a bad colour match in the light, but when it gets a little bit darker, it stands out like a sore thumb. So I want to blend the original panels and try and make it match a bit better. Um, I also want to clean the underside up a little bit. It's a little bit scabby in places. These cars are known for it. It's pretty solid, so I just want to protect it. Um, I just want to use the car a little bit. And then maybe at the end of the summer, maybe next year, I might, might put it for sale. I might get a 911 Turbo, uh, an RS6, I'm not sure. I want something a little bit different, a little bit quicker, because why not? And lastly, I just want to repaint the bottom of this bumper because I did actually scratch it. Now I've touched it up, so you don't notice it too much at the minute. However, it is there and it's very annoying because that looked really nice when I first did it. So. Stupid mistake on my behalf, one of them things. So yeah, I want to blow that in as well. And just before I wrap the video up, guys, I want to demonstrate the exhaust silencer delete pipes I've made. Now, bit of a bodge, but I've basically made some pipes that slot into the rear silencers and act as like a resonated delete. Imagine the kind of baffle you get for a motorbike or slots in. Well, it's like this, but exactly the opposite. So this is what she sounds like. <laughs> Oh, that sounds awesome. <laughs> 